Hello guys, Shikari here and I'm here with another of my film talks session. On this one, it's going to be kind of different. It's more going to be on a topic with several films being bound into that. And it's to do with Wolf of Wall Street has recently been released into the cinema and there's been a lot of uh, talk about how explicit it is and how repetitive it gets with it just being sex and drugs and then sex and drugs and more sex and more drugs and then more drugs and more sex and more sex blah 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 blah, blah. and it goes on and on and on, on like that and so I was just and it just occurred to me when I was watching it uh, that it's it does have a lot and is this what I think and I was I wrote this for a piece of my English coursework something similar to do with uh, the strong language used and um in films over our time and it's just kind of just becoming standard now because la a lot of people think oh yeah Wolf of Wolf is the first one to do something and you know it's quite graphic and explicit as this but then last year uh, 2012 we had I don't know I don't think many people saw it but there was this film called Savages and uh, me and dad we got it for Christmas, like it wasn't a Christmas present, it was going to be a Christmas present, and then it wasn't a Christmas present, a whole load of stuff, getting presents mixed up, and whatever, and so it was just a film, because we picked it up from our local blockbuster, while it was fairly cheap, um, and it was, um, and the first 40 minutes of it, was just this ongoing repetition of sex and drugs, and he gave me warriors and whatever, and it was just going on and on and on, and it got to the point where I nearly said to Dad, can we just turn this off, because this is boring. But then after that, it really got into it, and uh, it's the same thing with Wolf of Wall Street, I think. Uh, because everyone who's heard about the film knows it's it's a three hours long. Uh, and I'm okay with a three hour film, as long as it's entertaining. But that first hour and a half of Wolf of Wall Street is so painfully boring and repetitive, that I, I was so bored while watching it, I just couldn't bear it, because it it's just the same thing over and over again for a half an hour, and it's not even the interesting part of the story, because it's not the bit where it all goes wrong for him, it's just him rising, and then it's like, yo, then here's ha let's have another 15 minute party where they all take drugs and have loads of orgy, and that's basically what it is, and I was just so bored while watching it, so I think they would have possibly made a much better film, had it, been strictly that first hour and a half could possibly could probably have been stripped down to a bare half an hour where he summarizes like he sometimes does he sometimes does what i think they should do for the whole first half hour you know summarizing it show the occasional flashback of them setting it up and then uh, and he's kind of just talking to the camera with a over uh, with a narration of what's happening in the story, and then you have that last hour and a half as fleshed out as it is, because that's the interesting bit, that's the bit that I loved about the film, so I was incredibly conflicted when I watched it, I wasn't sure whether I liked it, I wasn't sure whether I didn't like it, whereas most people, they, when I read about the reviews, you have got people saying, oh yeah, this film is amazing, and you, you know, you never bored, it's not repetitive, and then there was another group of the more, I want to say mature reviewers, maybe the older reviewers who were saying, Yes, it was repetitive, but you weren't bored. But I wasn't in either category. I was bored. I was really bored. Um, and I know that Martin Scorsese and Leonardo DiCaprio... And the fact that Leonardo DiCaprio has been... You know, he's nominated for an Oscar. and Well, he's never won an Oscar before. And this is the film that he's been nominated for an Oscar for. Yet this is the first film that he's been nominated for. This is the first film that he's made where I don't think he deserves the Oscar. Because I just don't think it was that great. It wasn't as good as everyone's saying it is, and it's now just telling you more of a review of Wolf of Wall Street. Um, but that's why I think of Wolf of Wall Street. And so, and I think it's purely for that purpose that Martin Scorsese just fleshed out so much of all that sex and jokes in the first half, hour and a half that I just got bored and I found it hard to like the film from then on, even that no matter how good that last half is. Uh, the, and it's really. And I get that, you know, that's apparently what, is, what the actual person was like. I don't really know uh, what the actual person was like or anything, but uh, I really, I I expected better. Uh, so I think this is just going to be a review of Wolf Wall Street, to be honest. Um, so yeah, 
uh, that's my film talks for this. I'm going to try to start making these a little shorter, I think, because a lot of them got to 20 minutes long and not many people want to watch me sitting here for 20 minutes talking about film I was. Uh, and so, like and favourite if you enjoyed, subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow with my secret new Let's Play. Bye.